You have a game that looks great. Everything's modeled really well. The characters and backgrounds are high polygon, very detailed, very realistic. But then when some sort of effect, be it fire, shadows, fog, something that helps make things more realistic, why does that slow your computer down? I mean, sometimes those effects can grind everything to a screeching halt. Why is that? Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks we ask the question, why are some video game animations very taxing on graphics cards? Let's start with a metaphor. You've got your trusty old sketchbook and you're drawing an empty room. Doesn't take too long to make it, does it? Now you draw some chairs. Oh, they're not that hard. Not a big deal. Just geometry, that's it. A table, big deal. Some fruit on the table. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit smaller, a little bit more hard. A hearth behind it, sure. A fire inside it. It's hard to draw fire. Uh, maybe I won't do the fire right now. I'll do the shadows on everything. Oh, well that actually takes a while too. What I'm saying is that drawing Drawing these things, fire, shadows, other effects, is different than drawing a regular thing. Because in the real world, they're actually also very different from a real thing. A fire, for instance, is a chemical reaction that's ongoing. A shadow is a lack of something, light. And well, in a game world, they don't actually work as accurate physical simulations of these phenomena. They don't run exactly the same as everything else. For instance, a fire is typically done as a transparent object. That means similar to another object except for carrying a certain texture that may be singularly black or white, transparent, not transparent, or more complex shaded image that may show many different shades of gray, which would indicate how transparent a pixel is on it texture. And then there are fires that are particle objects. Particle objects are a bunch of those. Lots and lots of little objects that are semi-transparent that typically come out of a particle emitter object. They do it for a specified amount of time or infinitely depending on what kind of fire it is, be it a spell or a campfire. And a shadow works either one of two ways, either through ray tracing or through shadow mapping. Ray tracing creates an actual ray, as in a simulation of light and projects light until it hits a surface. The light stops there and anything behind it doesn't get any light. It does this over and over and over and over and over until the scene has been rendered. Now this typically isn't how a video game does shadows. Typically it's done through a shadow map, which renders a very low resolution outline of an object in between a light and the ground, blurs it, and projects it as a shadow onto the object that is receiving the light. First thing to note, both in a fire, whether it uses particles or it's just an animation projected onto a shape, as well as a shadow, are partially transparent. And having something be partially transparent mean any pixel that has any of this has to be rendered multiple times. Which obviously, given the fact that various different things take up various amounts of space, can be either a lot of extra work for your graphics card or a little. The more transparent objects you have on screen, and if I'm not mistaken, when you're doing rendering in a game, you have a lot of shadows and sometimes a lot of fires or a lot of similar effects, it continues to multiply the amount of work necessary just to have these things going at any given time. If it is something with an animated texture or it's a shadow map because a shadow map has to be animated on account every movement by the objects changes the shadow map, then you also have to load frames of those textures. All of that stuff goes in and out of the RAM as it's being generated or being read, and each and every pixel has to be drawn and redrawn, and the cycle continues on and on. It's a loop of code telling the computer to do something that, well, is making some attempt at simulating what things do in real life to make any graphics that you see more believable. Each of these different varying techniques requires a different type of math. Transparency specifically makes every single pixel need to be rendered multiple times. Shadow mapping is similar in that it does require sometimes a blur effect to be added which makes extra transparency work because the shadow obviously 
can't just look like a jaggy mess in 2016. It also gives you per triangle work. Every triangle needs to stop the light from making it to the floor. Now being the light isn't actually a real thing, but rather a surface modification or map, you're essentially generating an image, blurring it, and then using it as a transparency map. In this respect, smoke and fire are almost the same thing, just like electricity or most elemental effects. These can all be either images projected on polygons or particle systems. Fog nowadays is typically a particle system, meaning where fog used to be a trick to cover up the fact that it couldn't render more, fog now requires more to render. It's very interesting where we are actually. Now, probably the easiest way to do stuff as opposed to using particle systems for everything is just the projected animation onto polygons. It does take more from your CPU or GPU when you do that, but a particle system is like a bunch of those. To put it in the simplest way I can, the reason why all of these things take more to render than the rest of your game, than a wall, or a character, or something solid that maybe has one texture that never changes on it, is that it greatly multiplies the amount of work necessary when you need something to be even slightly transparent. If you need to have many shades of transparency, it multiplies it even more. If what is transparent and what isn't depends on what objects are between a light and the floor, well, even more so. In fact, on any one of these specific effects, we could probably make another 6-7 minute video just explaining exactly what they do to make it look that specific way. Another thing somebody has to say is that it's art. Every single person does it slightly differently. And when somebody makes a brand new version of fire that looks better than all other fire, that's because that person had some sort of insight as to how fire really works and was able to translate it into a virtual world better than anybody else has so far. Oftentimes Sometimes that means writing a new procedure that handles something a different way. Now, it's always going to be bound to these rules, these transparency rules, these polygon-oriented rules, but it's constantly changing because the requirement is that we need to get more and more out of the visuals of a game. Everything has to look more real for people to accept it because even though we have not gotten through the uncanny valley just yet, and maybe we never will, I don't know, people still expect it to at least get better. So it is a priority. And the short answer to why it takes more, the very, very short answer, is because the GPU is doing a whole lot more. It's just a lot more routines, a lot more things being asked of the GPU, and a lot more answers having to come back. When you start talking about doing that on a per pixel level, I mean, that's a lot. I realize that may have made it seem more confusing, but the process itself is not a simple one. Making these things is not easy, but I think you probably have at least a basic idea as to what makes makes these things complex. Transparency in physics simulations just require more things to be done, more math to be solved. And I think that this video does a decent job of answering the generalized question. Beyond that, any discussion is more than welcome in the comments. We will meet you down there. And please click like if you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day to Game Ranks. And we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon the Hero, and we'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.